Hi guys! Welcome sa Behind Real Life TV featuring Hugot Sipnayan. At para sa ating topic for today, we're going to deal with first quarter grade 8 lesson, Rational Algebra Expression. So, a brief introduction about it. So, tara guys! Tingnan natin kung paano to. Before we have a discussion, on rational algebra expression, let's have a simple recap about fraction. So, fraction is the simplest form of rational algebra expression. So, by definition, a fraction is a small or tiny part or amount of portion of something. For example, may isang bagay na isang buo ang hinati natin sa iba't ibang bahagi. Ito yung tinatawag nating fraction. Yung mga bahabahaging yun, over sa kanyang kabuuan, yun ang tinatawag na fraction. So, by definition nga, tells whether how many parts are there in a whole. Ang mga example ng mga fraction ay ang mga sumusunod. We have one half, or sa ating Pilipinang salita ay kalahati, 5 over 6 o limat anim, limang bahagi over sa anim na bahagi, 11 over 10, uh, labing isa over 10 o 10, 3 fourth or tatlut apat, katlut apat. Hindi ko lang kung tama ang aking Tagalog, pero ang ibig sabihin 3 fourth, ikatlong tatlong bahagi, katlong bahagi ng apat na bahagi o pagkakahati. Ang fraction ay may parts. Merely tatlo lang ang parts na to. Exclude na natin yung fractional bar. Ito yung bar na naghihiwalay sa dalawang main na bahagi ng fraction. Ang unang part niya ay tinatawag na numerator. Ito yung top part fraction na nagrepresent kung yung mga bagay na kinukonsider natin sa paghahati. For example, hinati sa anim na bahagi ang isang pizza. May kinuhang isa. Yung kinuhang isa ngayon, yun ang numerator. Samantalang ang denominator naman, ang tinatawag na bottom part. Pag sinabing bottom part, ito yung bahagi nagsasabi kung ilan beses o ilan ang pagkakahati ng isang kabuuan. Sa mga example natin kanina, 1 half, 5 over 6, 11 over 10, at 3 over 4, yung 1, 5, 11 at 3 ang numerator kasi sila yung nasa itaas. Yung 2, 6, 10 at saka 4 sila naman yung denominator o sila yung sasabi kung gaano kadami beses hinati ang isang kabuuan. Para malaman natin kung ano ba yung numerator yung denominator magkaroon tayo ng isang simpleng explanation o simple example. Basahin natin yung problem. Your father brought a bought a box of pizza and the pizza was divided into six equal parts. So, ang yung ama ay bumili ng isang pizza tapos hinati ito sa anim na bahagi. After hatiin sa anim na bahagi, if you decided to eat two slices of pizza, how much of the pizza did you eat? So, kinain mo yung dalawa. Anong bahagi yung kinain mo in terms of fraction? So, try natin magbigay ng isang pizza. Tapos, hatiin natin sa anim. So, equally divided, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at 6. Meron na tayong anim na bahagi. Kinain mo yung dalawa. Yun po ay 2 over 6. Bakit po? Kasi ito yung bahagi kinuha mo. So, dalawa over sa kabuuan na anim. Yung 2, ang ating numerator, o yung kinukonsider natin na bahagi, basis sa ating question number 1, at yung 6 naman, yung denominator, kung saan ito yung kabuuan. Yung 1 third, guys, ito naman yung tinatawag nating lowest term. Kung natatandaan nyo pa ang fraction, ito yung tinatawag nating simplest form. Let's have 
number two question. If you eat another two slices, how much of the pizza did you now did it now represent? Ngayon yung dalawang pizza ang kinain mo, nagutom ka ulit, kumain ka pa ng dalawa. Ngayon na kino-consider natin ngayon sa number two question, eh yung napadagdag sa iyo at yung kinain mo na nauna. I-represent natin as fraction, yun po ay 4 over 6. Kasi 2 plus 2 is 4. So 4 po siya over sa total number ng kanyang kabuuan which is 6. Pag lowest term, 2 over 3. Let's have some definitions of rational algebraic expression. So for rational algebraic expression, it was defined as any algebraic expression in the quotient of two other algebraic expression are called rational algebraic expression. P over Q are algebraic expression where P will not be equal to Q to zero, rather, and express in Q all over Q. In short, ang rational algebraic expression ay polynomial to polynomial. It's a quotient of polynomial to polynomial. Ibig sabihin, ang ibabaw ng numerator ay polynomial, ang ilalim ng denominator ay polynomial. At dapat yung polynomial sa ilalim will never be equal to zero. So, ito yung mga example ng mga polynomial sa ilalim. So, makikita nyo yun, nandiyan yung ibang uri ng uh, expression. Meron tayong binomial, meron tayong monomial, at meron pa tayong iba't ibang example na ibibigay natin mamaya. Okay, let's have the general rules for rational expression. The following are the general rules for rational expression. First, no variables must be part of the radicand or part of the denominator. The second is no variable must be in a negative, zero, or fractional exponent. And the denominator must not be equal to zero. You better remember those idea kasi po, it's yung magkasabi kung general trinomial yung given expression or not. Now, let's have the first question. Rules on rational expression. Question number one. Is 2x all over 1 plus 1 over x a rational expression or not? The answer, no. Because the denominator 1 plus 1 over x is not a polynomial. Hence, expression given is not a rational expression. Bakit po? Ang reason natin dito guys ay yung no variable must be part of the must be part of the radicand or denominator. Yung 1 over x, guys, consider siya is no. Since the denominator 1 plus 1 over x is not a polynomial. And expression given is not a rational expression. Yung given item po dito, guys, yung 1 plus 1 over x. Yung 1 over x, yung x na variable, denominator siya. Hence, guys, ang kanyang magiging exponent ay negative 1. Yung 1 plus 1 over x, pag kinumbert mo siya into a, pag ginamit mo yung law ng exponent, magiging siyang 1 plus x raised to negative 1. Ay, ang sabi, no variable must be in a negative exponent or part of, part of a denominator. Napansin nyo yung x, naging denominator siya. Kaya automatic, yung given 1 plus 1 over x, hindi siya polynomial. Hence, Yung given item natin, hindi rational exp expression. Let's have the next item. Rules for rational expression again. Second question, ito po yung tanong. Is 2x raised to negative 1 plus x plus x plus 4 all over 2x plus y a rational expression or not? Ang sagot po ay hindi. Bakit po? Kasi po, meron po tayong variable na exponent ay negative 2. Ang sabi daw dito, kapag ang numerator, ang numerator natin ay hindi polynomial. Bakit daw po? Kasi sabi sa rules, no variable must be in the negative 0 or fractional exponent. Ikaw e na mapansin nyo po, dito, yung negative 2, 
siya po ay nasa negative exponent. Kaya po, automatic, hindi po siya polynomial. Let's have rule number 3. Question number 3. Is 3x raised to 1 half plus x plus 4 all over 2x plus y a rational expression or not? Ang sagot po natin dyan, same thing, the answer is no. Sabi daw dito, hindi polynomial yung numerator at hindi rin siya rational expression. Bakit? Dahil ang exponent ng x, 3x raised to 1 half, ay fraction. Kapag ang exponent ng isang variable, ng isang given expression, ay, bar ay fraction, I'm talking about a variable na may fraction exponent, automatic hindi siya polynomial. Since ang rational expression ay quotient ng polynomial to polynomial, automatic, hindi polynomial ang numerator, hindi siya rational expression. Okay po. Next. Is 2y raised to 1 half plus square root of 3x plus 4 all over 2x plus y a rational expression or not? Ang sagot po ay no pa din. Bakit? Kasi po, meron tayong variable sa radicand, meron din tayong variable na may fractional exponent. So, tandaan lang, yun, lang, lang naman yung mga rules. Ano ba yung mga rules? Kailangan walang variable na may fractional, zero, or negative exponent. At isa pa, bawal ang variable maging denominator ng another denominator or maging fractional siya. At yung last, guys, let's have the given. Question is, 2y plus 2x plus 4 all over 2x minus 2x irrational expression. Ang sagot po, no. Bakit po? Kasi yung simplifying natin ang denominator, ang 2x minus 2x ay 0. Sabi sa rule, third rule natin, ang denominator ng rational expression dapat ay hindi 0. Okay? So, let's have some answer dito. Tanungin natin sa sarili natin kung rational expression ba itong mga given item na to. Siguro dito, ang hindi rational expression ay eto, at saka eto. Ito po, ang denominator niya ay 1. Let us try to know it. So, not, not rational expression siya. Bakit po? Kasi rad, may radical ang variable. Rational expression po siya. Naka-fractional form. Same thing with that. Not a rational expression po yung given natin 3 plus x all over 4x raised to negative 1 plus 3x. Bakit po? Kasi negative ang kanyang exponent na 4x negative raised to 2. At rational exponent po ang 3x plus 5y. Tandaan nyo, ang any whole number or isang polynomial guys, ang kanyang denominator lagi ay 1. Kapag wala siyang denominator, laging 1. Kaya automatic, rational expression siya. Let's have other example again. Dito, first is rational expression, isang dalawang binomial. Ang second po ay not. Bakit po? Because a minus a is 0. Third rule. Same thing with the next example, third rule po, ang denominator must not be equal to 0. Rational expression and rational expression. So, those are the items. So, I hope you learned something from my video. Make sure you follow my page, guys. And, see you when I see you. So, ito po yung mga, ano ko, kailangan yung tingnan nyo po, check nyo po, and God bless and ingat. God bless po and ingat. Okay.